So is it possible that Ryan Johnson is not the one to blame when it comes to The Last Jedi? What's up everybody? Today I'm here to talk about Star Wars and an article that I ran into talking that Ryan Johnson might not be the person to blame when it comes to all the decisions uh, in The Last Jedi. So this article was published by The Express UK and uh, it's titled like this, Star Wars Last Jedi Backlash, Ryan Johnson and Lucasfilm secretly fought over this. Star Wars fan fury about The Last Jedi started a backlash boycotting the solo movie and episode nine, but a major Hollywood director has revealed Ryan Johnson has secret battles behind the scenes. Now, up to this point, I actually believe it because even though we heard that Ryan Johnson had full creative control over the film. We still know that uh, although he had the full control, it still needs to be approved by the person in charge, and that would be Kathleen Kennedy. And if you know anything about the history of Star Wars, you would know that George Lucas fought to be independent from the studios, so that way he could really have the full creative control over the film, you know? Uh, and that's why I believe that Star Wars were so innovative to begin with. However, nowadays it is under the direction of uh, Kathleen Kennedy. And uh, obviously, whatever it is done, it has to be approved by her. So let's continue and see what else the article is saying. Star Wars has weathered some fans across uh, the decades. The low point occurred around the time a certain gun game emerged, emerged from the swamp alongside the midichlorians, the worst child actor this side of Naboo. However, the fans never abandoned the, their beloved franchise, never lost faith, until now. A major section of the fandom, hardcore and otherwise, had rebelled over what they see as a betrayal of the central themes and aims to the tri triple trilogy, laying the blame firmly at the feet of Ryan Johnson and Lucasfilm boss Kathleen Kennedy. Are they wrong? And then if we scroll down the article, it continues, Hollywood director James Mangold helmed fan favorites like the recent Logan movie. He has also been linked to the expected Boba Fett Star Wars anthology spin-off. In a series of tweets, he blasted fans for attacking uh, directors who made bold but divisive decisions with existing franchise. Although he appeared to agree that Johnson maybe should not have chose the eighth film of the saga to rewrite the story. Uh, however, he also revealed that Johnson had fought many battles behind the scenes, presum presumably with Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy. Now, although I do understand what the article is trying to say, it's trying to have people think maybe Ryan Johnson is not really the one to blame. Uh, because again, we all know that you know the studios are the one in charge, and, and you know more specifically Kathleen Kennedy. She's the one that had to approve everything, you know. Uh, so that part I understand, but that does not change the fact that Ryan Johnson has been very aggressive towards the fan, you know. So that is why uh, I don't think Ryan Johnson gets a pass because you know if he had been acting politely, you know, if he had been taking the criticism. Uh, in a professional manner, then uh, I think he could get a pass because again, uh, he needed to write the script that Kathleen Kennedy would be happy to. However, he's been pretty aggressive towards the fan, you know, calling people man babies and it's just not helping the situation, you know? And recently we have an example of a professional director that uh, also suffered some sort of backlash, but acted uh, in a very professional man, and that would be Colin Trevorrow. You know, he did receive some backlash for the Jurassic World. You know, a lot of people did not like the movie. I actually enjoyed the film. I had a good time, but a lot of people are not happy with that film, and they were obviously t letting him know their opinion. But Colin Trevorrow proved to be a real professional because you know, instead of actually yelling at the fans and saying. Uh, this is what you get, you know, the movie is perfect and there's no flaws. No, he actually acknowledged the criticism and, and said that, you know, the fans are not the one to blame. They're, pretty, they're simply uh, criticizing something because they love it and they wanted to see it better. 
Uh, you know, obviously I'm paraphrasing what he said, but this is the kind of example of how uh, a company should be dealing with the, their customers. And this is what we haven't seen from Lucasfilm. And that's the problem with Ryan Johnson. But anyways, continuing the article, there's a tweet of Mangold where it says, if you feel that is the case, if you feel the filmmakers are just corporate tools and powerless, then why bitch at us? In the case of Ryan Johnson and Chris McQuarrie, I assure you, these cats are not owned. They actually fight your battles behind the scenes. So pretty much what he's trying to say is that maybe he tried to do some things different. However, he did not get the green light uh, to move forward. But again, because of Ryan Johnson's behaviors towards the fan, I feel very hard to believe that he would truly have the best... Uh, uh, the fans interest in mind because that's I think that's what the, the biggest problem with the last Jedi is because it feels like they did not care about the fans at all and all that all they care about is just uh, moving on with the franchise with new characters and disrespecting the old which is why why do that and then the article continues since the entire thread concerned fans who felt betrayed when films companies and directors made major changes to existing franchise is mangold saying that johnson fought against some of the more drastic tonal and story shifts of the last jedi but was overruled so that begs the question and then it's a very short article and it ends in a very great way i actually really enjoyed how the writer uh, position uh, because it's exactly what i thought it says like this this seems hard to believe since episode 8 seems so completely Johnson's vision and he has never given any indication otherwise, despite constant provocation. And this is exactly my point, right? The director and Lucasfilm have consistently closed ranks against the attacks from fans centered on the basic theme that the past must die along with the cherished memories and hopes of an entire generation of fans. If they didn't disagree over this, what then were Johnson's and Lucasfilm fighting over? And that is the end of the article. Now, I totally understand what Mangold is trying to say over here, and I agree with him. Like, directors, they really have a boss, you know, and they have to report the boss. And if the boss do not want to see that kind of script or that kind of storyline, I mean, there's not really much that they can do. However, it's hard to really believe that Ryan Johnson really wanted to, you know, kind of honor the older the original characters because again it's it mostly to do with his reaction to the backlash you know and the way that he's been provoking the fans and that's why i i think this article uh, it's great and he finished with the question uh mangold is trying to say uh you can't really blame the directors because okay it, they have to abide by the studio now if that is really true why is he being so aggressive toward uh, criticism from this film you know we're not until this day we haven't even heard people addressing the real criticism you know they're just using uh the backlash to say that people are racist and people are this this and that so great article and uh, the answer to my first question is uh, is it possible that Ryan Johnson is not the one to blame? And I say uh, it's not possible. I believe that he, along with Kathleen Kennedy, were both to blame. Because if he was trying to do something different, you know, and it, Kathleen Kennedy was saying no, uh, I would be, I'm pretty sure he would react in a different way to, uh, towards the criticism. Because, you know, then he would pretty much say, I told you so, to the studio. He's been pretty aggressive and really not... Uh, particularly professional. But that's it guys, this is the end of this uh, article and it's the end of this video. Don't forget to leave that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time. Bye.